today we're going to talk about where the sound particle comes from. Now, if I clap my hands slow, you hear a sound. Now, if I clap my hands faster, you hear a, a, a sound that's higher pitched. Why is that? Well, I'm going to explain that at the molecular and the particle level, and it's easy to understand. It comes, the particles come from exiting gravity, and I'm going to show that to you right now. Gearing at them, sound, low pitch, sound, high pitch. If you've seen my sound video, you understand how they come, and this is the three-dimensional particle. This is the two-dimensional wave that you see in the books. So, what's the difference between the high pitch and the low pitch? All right, I'm going to clap my hands slowly. Low pitch. Gravity is going in the atom, so when it comes out, it collides slower. When I clap my hands slowly, produces the low pitch. Think about it. As the particle is mashed, it's mashed like an accordion. So now when I get, and when I clap my hands faster, what happens? I'm going to mash the particle closer together, right or wrong. And so what do you get? You get a high-pitched particle, which produces what they call is the sound wave. It's that easy. So exiting gravity, when it comes out, when it collides with another atom, is going to be how the sound particle comes out. And that's how you get all the varieties of sound. These are geometrical shapes. The geometrical shapes of the particles and how they spin through the atoms. That geometry, that is what causes sound. Doesn't matter if I'm talking, it's when, when uh, atoms collide and the angles and the speeds at which they collide is why we have such variety of sound. If you play a violin, it's going to make a sound. If you shoot a gun, it's going to make a different sound. And it's all based on the collision of particles and how that uh, exiting gravity gets mashed, how it turns into like an accordion whenever it gets, whenever they hit. That's it. That's how easy sound is. And the reason is physics and chemistry are easy with the correct geometry.